frame on my CJ6 when I got it was wasn't in great shape. There, it had been used as a plow vehicle, so the frame had cracked multiple times, and whoever owned it before me just welded it back together in whatever fashion worked for them. So it wasn't straight, the frame wasn't very clean, so I was able to acquire a new CJ6 frame. This is not a, uh, a remanufactured frame. This is not a third-party frame. This is an original OEM frame from Jeep that has been sitting in a barn for the last 40 years or so. Uh, I've started the process of rust conversion, but as you can see, this is really only surface rust on this frame. So it's, it's actually in very good condition. There's no structural rust on it at all. There's no rot. Uh, this frame is out of a, this is one of the last frames that they produced. So it's the last run of the CJ6 frames from 1975. So you'll see that it does have the strengthened transmission cross member here. Also has the dual supports in the rear as opposed to just one, which is what the earlier frames had. So aside from this just being a newer frame that's in better condition, it actually started as a better and stronger frame than the 72 year frame that I was working with. So what I'm doing is installing these Rocky Road suspension mounts and they bolt on over the existing spring hangers in the front on both sides. They'll bolt in here where the rear leaf hangers were and then similarly in the back. Now I've gone ahead and just cut these old spring hangers off and ground them down because that was a good bit easier than trying to fit the brackets on over them. Plus I'll be having these brackets welded to the frame in addition to having them bolted in once everything is, is set up and, and working as it should. So that's where we are right now on this CJ6 restoration. Hopefully I'll be making some progress in the next couple weeks.